So here we are, middle of February. I'm sweating bullets because it's 84 degrees outside and I know all you guys up north are saying, shut up and stop complaining. But I really don't like the heat. My wife loves the heat, but I really don't like the heat. Where are we headed now? Like I said, middle of February, it's Miami boat show time. So we are getting the boat ready. The new cellular cells are up, as you can see. We're getting them wired in. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Everybody sour like a lemon tree. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies. Do the shit and love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave with that. This is uh, Mandy and Ian from New Hampshire. All right, and um, they are going with us to the Miami Boat Show. Yeah, they've suckered us into looking for more boats. <laughs> Yeah. We're in the exploration. That's all your wife. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what what are you looking for? Uh, looking for a catamaran. We've um, this is now our second time seeing in a catamaran. We've had uh, a great time with our kids on one. So we just kind of they liked each other. Yeah. Three days of pure bliss with no fighting, reading yeah. books, no cell phones. Yeah. So why not? Uh, why not? Well, capitalize on that. Yeah. <laughs> this is my Pinterest fail attempt at heart-shaped bacon. <laughs> I told them to picture hearts that they learned to draw when they're in kindergarten. Shape coconut raspberry French toast casserole. Which guys, I wish you had smell-o-vision. All right, first time I've ever made stuffed raspberry coconut. It's way better than what I made for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it was, no, it was it fantastic. Is awesome. It was very good, delicious. There's what's calories, left of it. Calories don't count on Valentine's. It, that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. these guys can hop it's because on board. There's we are, left. <laughs> already have the loves of our lives that love us for who that's we are. Sad. So, yeah. we ain't in the uh, catching phase. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have picked up Sir uh -oh. Randall uh, Whipple. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the boat. Woohoo! Hey, hi, Carol. Headed to the show. It's fixing Thursday here on the space between. Whoa, easy there, killer. Pretty sure it's Randy's fault. Well, I'll tell you what we've had here. We've had a little bit of a fuel issue with the uh, with the dinghy. We got a dinghy fuel problem, and uh, we were just cruising out over there looking for helicopters and fun things here at the Miami Boat Show, and. Uh, the dinghy motor decided to quit running very well, so I bet it's uh, got a fuel or a spark issue. Or fuel, or fuel, spark. spark, or air. It's got to be one of the three. So okay, well, I think uh, we're going to find out here pretty soon. Captain Scott's going to have this straightened out in mere moments. So this is Chris and Daryl coming to Hi. the Miami International Boat Show to look at purchasing a. We just came to party with you guys. Oh. Really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Done and done. <laughs> and we. Forward Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, from right, Texas. Yes, this entire boat, besides me and you, are from Texas, apparently. Oh, no, and you. Are, and you're not We're from Texas. Mix. Okay, oh, everybody. I can't tell anybody Texas. that. Everybody lives We're, in Texas except for. Texans now. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you and I are the only non Texans, Mandy. <laughs> we gotta represent. I've right. been adopted. I've been adopted. So we made some very, very loved punch. For Valentine's Day, and we are Very going delicious. to toast Cheers. to. Yeah. 
Here's the Wait, 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 wait. Where's the oh, captain? Yeah. Jeez. We did lose like the captain. Captain. The captain. He's down there cussing the dinghy. <laughs> yeah. The, the dinghy. captain has to be. Would you? Do you have a drink? Uh, did right, you trip over go. it? I didn't trip. It doesn't count as tripping if I'm not going anywhere. I just have to talk a thing. So okay. So Holly, here it is to sailing the space between. What a grand couple in a fine boat we've all been lucky enough to share. And so thank you once again for having us here. And how about a big old woo-ha! Yeah! Cheers. Cheers. Wait, let me pan out, pan out. Yeah. Everybody's gonna drink. Pan out, Wiley. Yeah, Wiley. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! There's <laughs> Elf. I'm gonna ring him up in God's way. Trying to figure out if we have enough feet. Moving the boat because A, the dinghy's not working right. We need to get shorter distance. And B, keep getting waked by assholes. What are all the boys looking at? The, the ultimate boys with big toys scene right here. Are they parking to like camera? Here. Yeah, camera guy boys. hanging out to the side. What? Video it. Okay. and their toys. boat show the excitement is all here the thrill is in the air it's electric the place is going crazy we just got in the front door let's go see what we can get into what do you think Randy I think this is an awesome boat what a fine example of where technology has come with a catamaran look at the luxury the outlay of this is absolutely amazing. I tell you what, this is one of the prettiest boats I think I've ever seen. The wind's blowing you. Where do you want to look first? What is your top well, in your mind? What, what do you want to look first? I tell you, this is like being a kid in a candy store. I mean, there's no. Yes, oh my God. Let's just go see it all. Let's go see it. Okay. Hey, Randy, look at his definitely stepped up their game a little bit since last year. I have to say, it, look at you. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There we go, Randy. Now we're talking. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's Randy. Randy, they don't want to see you. Are there any uh, different color combinations for interior? Uh, slightly. You can get slightly different color combinations on the cushions, but it's a production boat, so I got you. kind of baking the cake. How many do you think you're going to produce in the next 12 months? At least one for you. Yeah, that's nice, Randy. Are you kidding? This is her lounge area back here. You got to put her lounger <laughs> back there. Oh, right up there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there's my lounge area. I got to tell you, you've done such a good job. We're wanting one of these really bad. Oh, okay. But I'm torn between the, the 51 because it seems to have just a little bit more space. It does. I don't know. Yeah. It, it does. It seems yeah. to be, a, a, there seems to be quite a bit of difference in cost. Correct. Yeah, so it's a much bigger boat. So, um, so you move all of a sudden from a, a six kilowatt generator to a nine kilowatt generator. Oh, so it's just start off. Yeah. Uh, you sit with three air conditioner units there where there's only two air conditioner units. 
Oh. Uh, so that is some of your cost already that you okay. can cut. Okay. And the moment that you build a bigger boat than the 43, 43 foot, mm -hmm. then it also increases quite significantly in cost. Mm -hmm. Good at okay. construction. Engine wise, 320 horsepower Yanma engines on this boat. Oh, 320. And 370s on the boat next door. Yeah. Or both or both Yanma. Yeah. Uh, you'll probably get a, a roughly about um, 26, 27 knots in, in, in total on this boat. Where it's 24 knots on, on the boat next door on the three. Just because it's bigger. Correct. How often would you run 24 knots on the boat anyway? I mean, correct, correct. <laughs> Fuel consumption, consumption is actually excellent on the boat as well. Uh, at 15 knots, you'll basically do roughly about 13.2 um, gallons per yeah, hour. Right. Yeah, and if you run at five knots, five knots, it's roughly about 1,200 nautical miles. So uh, it's quite significant. What size more is it? Wow. There's a lot bigger than ours. Sail mm -hmm. locker. Oh, that's a bathroom. So that's, another, that's another suite. So yeah, and you're too chicken to go on this thing. I'm not too chicken, I'm just not going 100 miles out. Why? It's chicken. It's a trust for the ocean. What's gonna happen 100 miles out is not gonna happen two miles out. Yeah, most of our problems happen close to shore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we followed Randy around and took tours of many boats trying to figure out what his next adventure is going to be. He did prefer the power cats over the sail cats. I mean, why does he need a sailboat when he's got us? I bet this is a wash and dryer. There's another stateroom up here. Which of these fontaines are you most interested in looking at? Any of them from the 40 on. I'd love to see the comparison between the brands and how they each handle the different different areas of the boat, such as you know the heads. How do they compare from one brand to the other? The uh, the fixtures inside, you know, the amenities in the in the galley. That's what I want to see. She's a mermaid. I am a professional mermaid. You can look me up, Mermaid L. Yeah. Find me on Scuba Certified. Mermaid L. Mermaid L. Really. Okay. And your Instagram tag is Miami Mermaid L. Miami Mermaid L. -E -L, -L -E. And how do you become a professional mermaid, may I ask? Long story. Oh, I've been doing it for three years. Really? Yes. Oh my God, you're interviewing me. We, we're going to need a mermaid for our new boat. I'm pretty sure. There's Look me up. Uh, you'll see everything that I do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Just catch up on the 42. But yeah, I can do that. I think we'd like to see the 42. This yeah, is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So what size boat are you looking for? Yeah. 35. This is a 43, right? 44. 42. Wow. Grab the long one. So we have a uh, 42, 45, 47. Or somewhere. I have no idea where. Look, it's a Jenga free fridge. <laughs> Jenga free. And there's another one over there. Oh, sure. What do you have? I left the Well, if you can open it, it's Jenga free, but. Oh, don't yank. Oh, oh, it's got drawers. No, what is that? Oh. That's the freezer. That's the freezer. And these two are both fridges. They have a cockpit refrigerator and a cockpit ice cream. You're talking my language. So this is Melinda and Bob. We just ran into them. We've been uh, Facebook friends, I guess yeah. we used to say, for a while on the Leopard Owners Catamaran Group and on our Space Between uh, channel. And they just purchased a... New Leopard 45. It's here at the show in Miami, so we're super excited. Uh, it's been a dream you know, for five years, a long time in the, in the making. So, uh, and the path, the path to getting here has been made so much easier by folks like yourselves that have done all of this research and shared the learnings. And so we're so appreciative of the work that you do and the videos you put out. Aw, thank you. Yeah. See, we are making a 
difference. Every time you sit behind that computer, you're like, I hey, just freaking bit to do your shit. You know. The projects I love. It's the, edit, the film editing. <laughs> <laughs> film editing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably like 10 minutes plus for every minute of online. Oh, well, at least, yes. Yeah. And let, well, it depends on who's doing it. It's a month long process for me to make a 15 minute video, and he does it in a day, so. So Holly doesn't get to edit video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we are going to go party with them tonight at the Leopard Owners Party yes. uh, group. Yeah. And the potential Leopard Owners. Yes. Le here we are. Yeah. So we're here with Riley here at the Miami International Boat Show. And you guys walked by and Melinda spotted him. And here he is. Say hi to sailing the space between you. Hello, how's it going, Andrew? Leah, look at that. Can you imagine Scott finds himself in the electronic pavilion? We are meandering up towards Keith and Renee of Sailing Zatara. Lots of people waiting to talk to them. It was so great getting to chat with Renee for a few minutes. Unfortunately, the audio didn't pick up on the conversation. We were a tad disappointed they didn't end up being in the anchorage with us like he thought that they might. They have become one of my favorite channels to watch. And if you don't already watch them, you should. That would have been probably Ian. Yeah, probably Ian. Yeah. And, um, Ian. Well, I was only there. Anyway, but yeah, so we've been doing like, the first year. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. 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 Do a sale. It's so brand new. What are you going to do about the green? Uh, I don't know. We're, uh, we'll probably be in the South Pacific when she gets work, so we'll just head on to New Zealand and then go back to the winter. Great chance. Amarillo, Texas. Really? Awesome. What's well, nice to meet you? Take care of my body. Yeah. Are you enjoying the bell life? <laughs> I don't know if you hear me not to here, but back in our Dragonfly drone days, this is one of our best customers, this is Tucker. And um, now he happened to walk by him and he owns a 20 bags. So he's going to take care of our boat cleaning situation. For service from the progressive gem cars to the dinghy to the space between a little jaunt back to the boat the thing that we saw today was this boat has some design elements that I think are super important for comfort of guests Okay. And if you own your own boat and there's just going to be two of you, some of the things that we didn't see on some of the other boats were, for instance, the cockpit, a comfortable lounging area for cockpit because this is where you need to be for the most comfort. You, not on the front of the boat because when you're anchoring, the wind's blowing, right? You want to get out of the wind. This is the place to be. And some of the boats we saw had very little cockpit space at all. And even, it was almost an afterthought in the one that had the teak <laughs> like there's an add-on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, why? But now granted, there was a very the nice flybridge. Fly bridge. Was, yeah. But the problem with That's the flybridge. Yeah, but the 58. The flybridge is when you're like running, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't, no? You don't go up there when you're- The grill's up there, the- everything. No, it's, it's a party place to me, but the problem is if it's windy, you're in the wind. Well, this is- Drop there. Okay. Well, if it, I, I still, I don't know. I think I think if you're out, when you drop anchor and you're there for a day or two, this is the most comfortable place to be. And so a, a, the cockpit needs is important to have. The other thing that I noticed was was the galley in some places was somewhat uh, the, the what I would call workflow in the galley was was 
unusual. The feng shui was off. Yeah, the feng shui was off. The refrigerator's on the far side, and the freezer is in the oh, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's no, bullshit. You, the, the, the freezer needs to be on the other side, and the refrigerator needs to be where you're at. And then the and the, the cooktops. Uh, one of the things I'm I'm surprised about is that not is that the new man the new manufactured boats don't all have electric cooking. Okay, you get all rid of electric. The propane, yeah. yeah, to get rid of the propane. I can totally understand that. It, or at least you know you got your grill on the back. You you don't want an electric grill, but a little propane bottle is not like having a yeah. hundred gallon. Or something like that. But but the <clears throat> and tell them about the, the colors. I even, oh good yeah. lord! And, was, oh uh, my god! And I even said something to, and the lady that came and she's like, he got offensive to the fact that I'm like, these are the most wrong? boring muted colors. Like why? Like why everything would they, is gray. Yeah. It's like it's. I'm like I, I'm a but fan she, of gray, but please, like give, give some contrast. And then the lady right behind me came and said they sat like I. She didn't yeah. even hear me talking, and that was the first question she asked him. Like, there, there's, there's, there's study behind that is if you use a neutral base color. Pardon me for everything. Then the client can decorate it with however they want with colors and yeah. stuff like that. I call it BS because I don't. I, I really I would feel odd buying a million dollar boat with no woodwork in the in the salon. I mean, you know, that to me is part of the deal. I mean, that's it. Some of the history of of, of yachting that you need for that feel. That's the feel. I think it looks richer, like. I, I don't know. It's cheap to me. It's it's that. It Korean looks IKEA ish. Gray. Yeah. yeah. It looks like IKEA yeah. furniture. Yeah, IKEA. There you go. And, and there's nothing wrong with IKEA if you have a mini house. Mm -hmm. Right, but if you're buying a million dollar home. No, I know. Yeah, you're gonna buy. I'm not expecting home. IKEA to be in the. Yeah, but in in some, I, I found interesting some of the uh, the the helm. Uh, it's some of them, and I can't remember which boat it was. It surprised me. It was a, was it a, which one were we at? The, the helm was, you could set at the helm, but you couldn't get to the, couldn't get to the winches oh, to the hoist a sail. Yeah. yeah, the Fontaine Pujo. So you, you, you have to get, get up, away. Go, go around. around. Seriously? Yeah, you had to go Whoa. around the The one that she, we were sitting in that she liked because she could sit right yeah. next to the helm? You can get to the winches from the helm? Well, you can, but you got to get up, yeah, go, go around, around the steering wheel. And now your your winches and your lines, oh. yeah, and all so, your control tackle. So the so sailing made no sense to me here. because who's gonna? You need to be able to sail with two people or less, actually one, because if you're a couple. If shit happens and I'm in yeah. the head or I'm doing something for a oh yeah whatever yeah if you're passed out drunk, well then you know <laughs> he's got to be able to sail the boat, and you know that seems to happen more often than not sometimes. Not with you. <laughs> not with you. Thanks for disclosing yeah, that. Yeah, not with you. Another thing that I thought was interesting is the head in the 50, whatever foot, the big one that we looked at. 58. 58. 58 was fairly small. Very small and no room. You'd think they'd have a fat man toilet for a, a you know, like a, like a. Well, they did. Now you didn't go they in the. You didn't go in the master. Other, the master hall. The though. master was it bigger. Had one. Yes. It okay. Did. Well, then that's good because if I had a boat, I'm going to say I don't want that little bitty turlet. I want a turlet comfortable one I can back up and get on. Instead, I have to sit down to the floor. And but you know, and yours actually are not too low because they're on a on pedestal. A pedestal. Yeah. Nice. Well, sailing the space between yacht has spoiled the crap out of us because now we've got these really high, lofty expectations, uh, expectations for what a, a yacht should have. And I mean, and I think that anybody you, you could do the same thing or the same price, maybe a little bit more since we bought it before Irma. But if you bought a, are you looking to buy a new? No, well, we don't know. I don't, I don't want to That's take the depreciation of a new of a new yeah. yacht I in no way, say, shape, yeah. or form. I don't. I don't see why people but I, I do don't buy, want to buy well, something that's been buy chartered. It. So we no, not. I wouldn't recommend a chartered boat, but I don't know that I would recommend a new boat either because they still have the headaches of getting yeah. the kinks worked out of them. Oh yeah. So don't forget to join us next week as we continue the search for Randy's new boat and head over to Leopard's owner's party.